Welcome back, everybody, to more Kirby 64. Today, we're going to tackle level three Aqua Star. So let's just jump right in. Yep. A brand new world. A brand new world music map menu thing. This one's kind of mid, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Luke let us know that we need ice and bomb. But this song is not mid. Oh, man. Look at look at this background. I kind of like giving the... giving Yoshi's Island. Yeah, like the story... I think that's rock. Little volcano dude. Gets you with the aftermath. Fish jump scare. They're like the robot fish in um, Sonic. Oh yeah. In Green Hill Zone. Oh, we haven't seen um, rock fire yet. I forgot. Oh yeah. I'm guessing that's like volcano. You are right on the mic. Oh, but we could see fire cutter as well. Yeah, Volcano's actually pretty good, because you can angle it like that. I was about to say, if you couldn't aim it, that would have been kind of... It would have been like a just slightly better version of um, Spark Needle. That guy was like a Kappa. Alright, this one's pretty cool. Oh, finally, I get to see. Oh, <laughs> you get a sword. sword! Of course. And I think you can shoot it as well. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, there's this is no a pretty sword good power one. in this game. Look at his face as he's about I to know. stab someone. <laughs> we heard it in the last <laughs> episode, but there's a voice clip when Kirby's on the edge of a ledge. Yeah. And he sounds like he's crying. <laughs> Get that food. Get that yum yum. Soggy sandwich. Do you have the Mario rules where you can use fire underwater? Yes. Water in the fire, why? Oh, we need that mater. Nice, avoiding all it so you have exactly zero at the bottom. <laughs> no, I like that. It's a it set sure of is nice to be in Radiator Springs. I want you. <laughs> I was gonna say that. <laughs> it's because I said mater earlier. If you know, you know, viewers. Okay, I'm digging the- Hello? Big meaty claws? Giant enemy crab. Jelly? That guy is not an enemy. Really? Nope. It's giving Donkey Kong Country. Whoa! Cool. Yep. Some of them you get to control, but I don't think that is one of them. Cool ideas that I've never seen. Very cool. Rock a lady. Whoa. Look at her go. Oh, I was so off tune there. You cannot hurt her. She's just cheering you on. She's a runner. She's a track star. Again, fun new ideas right off the rip. Very yep. Mario-esque, where they just keep throwing stuff at you. Probably because the game's not long. And a very easy to spot Crystal Shard. Cool. Some of these are, like, really hard to miss. Our nar. You know, Luke, I saw a video where I learned a really easy way to do the Australian oh no. Oh no. Or if you just say, like, the phrase R&R. R and R, then it sounds just <laughs> like it. It's like a life hack to say it. That's funny. I've been trying to teach it to people so they can just be like R and R, and it sounds like it. That Hello? Guy has ice. So we do want to get him. They'll try to run away. Ah! Have we seen Ice Rock yet? We haven't. Nope. Curling. Yes. And you can use those frozen enemies and push them to the left and the right. Very cool. Yeah, that one's okay. Kind of hard to use properly, though. Curling, though. That's awesome. Oh, that's awesome, too. We didn't yeah. see regular ice. We haven't, now that you mention it. You get to barf in 360. So it's just like a mobile ice, which is okay, but... Look at these jump scares. And there's our next one. 
Mm, I don't know if that's gonna work, yeah. Well, we can always backtrack. The power of moving two feet to the left to respawn the enemies. Well, there's half of our recipe. Yeah. Icy bombs, that's This is a fun one. one. You have any guesses? Icy bomb, icy bomb. Well, we already got curling. Oh, I don't know. Is it like ice cube related? It's it's out there. Oh. That's hilarious. <laughs> An exploding snowman. Yeah, you can choose when to detonate it as well. This ice stone is curling, because I would have said an ice cube would be funny. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm excited to see where we use that. Probably some blue and black border. Hello? You're in the wrong world. I was about to say, they don't look very aqua Yeah, this one's yet. not the strongest one in terms of ability, but it's funny. They're either funny or, like, OP. <laughs> yeah, that seems about right. Like, giant seven-foot-long flame sword and funny snowman suicide. I can't wait until you see um, Spark Cutter. That one's a fun that was Like I said, that one's probably my favorite. And I don't think those weird enemies give anything. Oh, those are like based on a weird like species of fish, like yeah. an angel fish or something. Animal Crossing taught me His that. fate is to be frozen forever. Whoa! What's his name? His name is Tick. This is scary. Oh yeah, you gotta get the guys at the bottom. Did we lose our power? We did. Awesome. Yeah, they make you I hang think on those to guys it. give an ability? I don't remember. They should give Needle. Yeah, they do. Well, that they sucks. Work. You have to hang on to Ice Bomb for a long time. There you go. Well, that's okay. Maybe they'll give us some more later. Maybe. We get some foodie here. Nice. I think we will be one ups if you're at full health. But I'm not exactly certain on that. Here we're gonna plow through everyone. Ooh, I don't know if we'll have. They give thunder. I think I either give thunder or nothing, and it's weird. <laughs> no, I don't know if they give anything. Oh, there it is. Yeah, they don't. Blue and okay. black. Yeah, so you have to survive the mini boss, but it's tricky because, like, Star was experimenting there with how close you can detonate. And unfortunately, the hitboxes were just too much. Yeah. Very unfortunate. Dang, they all failed. They tried. But other than that, that's the end of that level, so... Alright. Chocolate bar. <laughs> it sounds like a song, almost. <laughs> Chocolate bar. I'd say, since we can, um... Oh, you can't. Okay. I thought you could. Well, Interesting. No wonder it looks so awkward. Me when I lie. Well, I mean, we know where it is, so we can always cut or go back and get it later. Up to you. Yeah. You can knock it out, or you can do the other levels. It's... Let's get it. Yeah, I'm sure this will happen a lot, because it's early Kirby, but it's fine. This game's simple and fun enough mm -hmm. that I don't mind the backtracking. It's not like other games where it's like, Yeah, okay. the levels are pretty short, so it's not a huge deal. And there you go. All right. On to the next level. Let's There's a new going. song here. It's fine. Um, but it's quite the departure from the previous level. No beach, just a river this time. It sounds like... It almost sounded like Green Greens at the beginning. And you need Firestone for this one. Firestone. 
something feels off about Poppy Bro in this game. Yeah. I, I'm not a fan of, of how he's shaped. Oh, there's half. I've been watching Dashy again lately, and sometimes when he's upset or he keeps losing in Mario Maker, he'll just go up to the mic and yell, Original Recipe. And I don't know <laughs> why, but it's funny. So when I keep saying half the recipe, I'm just thinking of that now. Mm -hmm. That is funny. Just watching him play. I do like this Mario level Maker. though. It's fun. It's got some fun concepts to it. That seems interesting, like going down a r river. Yeah, he changed his mind. <laughs> <laughs> Run! Oh no! Da, 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 da. Toronto Bert. This guy's like, no, please, 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 please. There we go. Bada boom. Now we got our juicy volcano. Yes. Like, so this is a pretty good one. As long as you're safe in one spot, you can just angle it. Oh, you can destroy mini bosses with that. Yep. Case in point. Money, 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 money. Oh, dang. Well, yeah, he's not the boss, so he's just gonna keep yeah. responding. There's the boss. And there's oh, the whole no, block. <laughs> yeah, they make you work for your um, pistol shot on this level. After, like, you can't just kill the mini boss, you gotta. Also, blow it up. And it's a sandwich. Can't reach it. That's funny. You gotta go through all this. <laughs> you gotta get the sandwich. Sandwich time. And it seems like so far, Luke, you only need one combo for like one shard in these levels, huh? Yeah, you're never gonna need two. That's nice. This is the fun part of the level. Now that we got the stressful combination out of the way. Yeah, now we just have the stressful crystal shards to get. Amazing. You can just run into the enemies, but if you hit obstacles, you will take damage. And as you can probably guess, you will need to time your jumps sooner or later, so... <laughs> for this one. There you go, okay. Donkey Kong Not Country. too bad. <laughs> Luke, this is us. I know, except we always died. Look at this game, they're so nice, they give you warnings mm -hmm. when you gotta jump. Isn't that nice and friendly? That when they fake you out by making you not have to jump. That's fun though, we got Waddle D in there. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Why did he fall like that? Um, let me see. Invincibility! Oh. What is this song? I know, it's not the same. That's why I was confused whenever I heard the other Invincibility song. Have you ever heard this the one? Invincibility yeah, theme go. in Super Mario Land? Uh, I probably have, I just can't think of it right now. For some reason, it's the... Oh, wait, really? That's weird. It's that song. It's so random. Yeah, we got all three of the... Uh, oh, this part. Ooh, spiky logs. Yeah, this is uh, my nemesis level. It's almost a nemesis. It would be such a shame if they also threw a really annoying enemy type in this area as well. With water that pushes you back and the logs that damage you. Yeah, this level has it all, huh? River Rapids Waddle D Adventure. Mm -hmm. Those logs are so mean, they wait for you. Right. What on earth? Oh no, I guess they don't put the boards in here. I thought they had the boards, but I guess that's just this part, they're going down the waterfall. Look at his eyes, <laughs> like, oh, please. <laughs> Please no, don't, don't kill me! I'm no. just a level 1 goblin! I don't have anybody! <laughs> Please! 
the instant frame one crying. He said, I'm baby. I'm literally ba babby. Segment's going on quite a while, I must say. Yep. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Skill issue. It's the depth perception. My blind ass would not even try. Oh, that's rude. Yeah, that one's messed up. Oh, I thought there was some of this there. I thought there was something there. <laughs> Yeah, those logs are rude, dude. But I think you're at the end of the level, so it's okay. This looks endy. Metamato. Nice. Okay, stage three. <laughs> what do we need here, Luke? We need a bomb cutter, I believe. Bomb cutter. Yes. Have we seen that? I don't think we have. Honestly, good idea. Get that HP refill. They can be found in the second portion of the map. Banger music is back. Yes. <laughs> More rockers. Oh man, this just makes me miss going on vacations to tropical places. Wait, they went to the beach? This is just <laughs> like Persona 5. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Ninki Minjaj. No, because um, I've not gone on as many trips as I used to. Yeah. I know the members know I used to travel all over the damn place before. Sandcastle. It's been a minute. Yeah, elephant. look at the elephant. It's also time for my obligatory thing that I say every single time we do a series on this channel. I love tropical theme levels. Because the, one, they usually have great music associated yeah. with it. And they're not all bad. I know everyone hates swimming. But look, we haven't even had one this world yet. They finally make you kill the Maraca ladies. Yeah. Sad. Also, I just realized sometimes when you spit stuff back out, it's not even the little generic star shape. Mm -hmm. You actually spit them out. Yep. That's really funny. Because I just saw the crab rotating on its way out. <laughs> It looked really funny. I think those fish get bombed. Like, I'm not even joking. Oh, yeah. He said my main goal is to blow up. This is gonna be awkward. Nice. Also, you see, Star is a Kirby veteran. You already know you can't inhale underwater, so you gotta do it from above. Oh, I love this one. It's cool. Oh, what? Exploding Shuriken? Yep. I would have never in a million years guessed I that. I totally forgot what it was. I was like, wait, what is this one? Because at first it didn't detonate, so I was like, what on earth? Did you see the way it hit Bronto and he just stood there? Yeah, they just stand and there died. and then they implode. He's just like, that hurt. <laughs> My tummy hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Exploded. Okay, so I'm guessing we gotta look for a black and green. Yep. Right here. No way. You found the secret. Why is it so funny? No, get the... Star said, I don't okay. need it. That's okay. Star, Star said, didn't know that was gonna I happen. need it. I need it. <laughs> I need to watch SpongeBob one day. Watch a few episodes of the <laughs> watch party. We said we were gonna watch Total Drama as well. Hey! Oh, I guess that was wrong. This is one stage where you need two different abilities. Uh-oh. We're gonna need a rock cutter for later on. Interesting.
Oh, this one's a really weird. I remember this was the last crystal shard I got on my playthrough because I did not know what to do. Really? Yep. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. Probably gonna be whack a doodle. It's whack a doodle time. It is whack a doodle time. Whoa! Yep. He's just standing there. Anybody guess what guy that guy's name is? Uh, Stuart. It's Kepar. Hello? Yeah, so... Oh, wait, really? There's no rocks here? That's messed up. Hello? Maybe there's one up. I hope so. I was pretty sure there weren't levels that had two, but maybe this is just a bad level design. It looks like green and black, but yeah, it, it's green and brown. Yeah. I thought I was going to start rolling down the other one. <laughs> Me too. That's so awesome. There was a stone earlier in the level, so maybe we'll just complete this. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a crusty crab. Lame. Not the, not the longest level, though. Nope. Which is good for a replay. Okay, so it's... Rock Cutter. Mm-hmm. Ah, we might as well go back. And then that fish is gonna be like, Luke, can you do your boom again? Okay. I'm gonna boom up! <laughs> <laughs> I like the dialogue in the beginning. Me at minor inconvenience. Today, viewers, Luke sent me a video of a baby getting angry. <laughs> it's so funny. Not what I expected from you. I wouldn't expect you to send videos of children. I don't children. care, dude. It was funny. Okay, even if it was baby. That's how I was surprised. I was like, damn. Look, that's when the, the baby is too young and small to be hateable. True. Whoa! Hey, yep. that's two! Hey, that's... So, yeah, cool. um... Pretty interesting ability. Kind. He does nothing. <laughs> he sits there. <laughs> Very cool. But yeah, you're gonna need oh, to be able to awesome. fly. Because I'm sure you, if you probably thought about it, even if you get past that wall, there's actually no way for you to hover all the way up there, so you need to fly with, um, the bird. Oh! How obscure. I was wondering if Rick was in there. Rick and Morty, Rick and Morty! <laughs> Rick, Rick, Rick and Morty, Rick and Morty. Oh, yeah, you can- good. I think it's time-based, and it's not, um, mash-based for that, so you can mash it unless you go, uh, further. Or, well, I don't know. I mean, that's just how I thought of it as a kid. Oh, but first you have to win the fight of destiny. Yeah. I bet the explosion when you let go is gonna do damage, yeah. Yeah, this- like I said, it's a pretty good ability. All part of the plan. So, yeah, you need to get- Fly up, and you need to be um, the bird specifically. Wow, you're so lucky. Um, his name is Ku. But there's a weird way to do this one. So I was stuck on this as a kid. Wait. Oh, and oh, oh but there's also you have to this be the hamster. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You have to be the hamster. The and hamster. if you hold the left and tap A, you can climb. That does not look like he's climbing. It's like a rhythmic tap, apparently. <laughs> this looks so stupid. Yeah. 
it's pretty insane. I'm sure you can imagine the reason this why I never. This is weirdly really difficult for a shard. It's the hardest shard in the game, in my opinion. So that feels so out of the way obtuse compared to the ones we've seen this far. I did not know zero two was a thing that existed in this game until I was like fifteen. Dang. Because of that crystal shard. <laughs> that is really out of the way. How about this level? This is a fun one. You're all underground, underwater. That's a different bird. Yeah, he's from three. Wow. The the partners from three are not as iconic as See, the ones from two. You do want rock cutter, I still, so. Really? Yeah. It seems like you want rock cutter the entire time. Not mandatory, but like it helps you out. It did destroy that mini boss in five seconds. I love this level. Look at it. It's so cool. It's like an underground canyon. I just realized they don't underwater tell you the names canyon. Of the... You already told us in the last episode, but they don't tell you the names of the bosses in this game. I guess you they have to don't. Get... Yeah. Yeah. But you can kind of think it like Wispy Woods obviously picks. You wouldn't be able to tell. The upcoming boss, you could probably think of it. And I think it was actually a boss in another game, too, so... It might have been, yeah. I know the name of the next boss. Okay. Yummy food. Now we have a true... Makes sense we have, like, a true swimming level before the end of the world. Not a bad world. I think Rockstar might still be my favorite. Oh, this yeah. I, I mean, this one's fine. Like I said, fine. honestly, the river level is probably my favorite. It, that one was surprisingly varied because I thought it was going to be super generic. Yeah. But then you had the Donkey Kong Country and the, the Logs of Death. and <laughs> These ones are just like fun little adventure. It's so cat dirty thing in the water. How embarrassing. Literally owned. Epic style is this is where you'd want to use uh, rock cutter, I believe. Actually, you haven't said that in a long time. Really. Own epic style, it's been a minute, true. Because I think there's a shard in this room. Uh, um, oh gosh, there is. Oh, okay. I was worried that when I saw the multiple pass, I thought you had to commit to one. Whoa, did you grab it? Oh no, there it is. But you'll you'll um you can use one of the birds to fly up there. Oh no, don't go in there. That's scary. Oh yeah, you can see the current. Yeah, like I said, it's not mandatory to use the rock cutter power up this time, but it definitely helps because it slows your um speed and the currents. Nice. And it's it's a pretty good power up, and it's also cool. Reference. Yeah, there's like multiple little openings, huh? Mm hmm. But I guess we just have to go up, huh? Yeah. You've been in bird mode long enough. Bird privileges revoked. my bird privileges. Oh, I thought it was stopping you from flying. I don't know. I like the little roll. This is probably one of my favorites this far from Powers. I like this one. Yeah. It's complicated, but like, I, I, it's cool. Okay, so that's just to show you the current thing. So yeah, you gotta go yeah. all the way back to the top. I just didn't want you to get sucked into that one before you got the crystal shard. Right, because then it would have been stuck in the next room, right? Yep. There she is! I was wondering, because I was like, we haven't seen her yet. That little jelly. There's like a lot of uh, fan theories about that pink little slime partner. Oh. Because, like, she jumps on your head and makes Kirby do stuff, and mm -hmm. people speculate that she's, like, mind-controlling him. Oh. Like a parasite. Because she likes to hop on your head. Yeah. I think her name's Choo Choo, actually, and I always think of Zelda when I hear that. Oh, that's, like, that's what I thought of, too. 
Yeah, she's like a little blobby. It looks like an op octopus, but... You know, they love referencing themselves 50,000 times in these Kirby mm -hmm. games. Like, Star Allies has so much fan service that I'm sure a lot of people have no idea who it's from. Right. Like, Kirby's popular, but a lot of people picking it up for the first time on Switch. The Switch, like, you know, the Switch is the Switch, so a lot of people have no idea. I had to rely on nerds like me to point at everything. And I think you want to be a rock cutter here, too, to slow your momentum. Yeah, I can already see how it's a huge help in this level. Nice that it carried over from the previous one to, to keep right. using it. Very nice. Make you work for that one since there's two power-ups. Um, crystal shards in that level. Right. I can already imagine if we didn't have this, like we would have been done the level by now because we'd swim yeah. past everything, right? Exactly. There you go. We would have kept going. You have to break, but you can hold on to that pole. And just, I guess, kind of stay low. To the flow. Yeah, you can just... There you go. Easy. Now we mentioned it in between episodes, viewers. I was... Star and I were expecting this game to be like 40 times longer. <laughs> I don't know it's, why. It's not long, yeah. I don't know why. I think just because, like, when you think 64, you think bigger scale, you know, than the games that came before it. Mm -hmm. And it is, like... But Kirby games have, like, until Forgotten Land, have never been that long. So we should have known. But just because we always knew about how you have to collect everything to get the ending, we thought this would take way longer. Mm -hmm. No, it's probably if you're not... If you don't know exactly what power-ups to use, it'll take longer, but... Right, yeah, for us at that point, it's like... It's vulnerability against the Gordos. Yeah, that is huge. Oh! I love that everybody boss is just a larger lad. Yeah, it is a big enemy. I love that. And it's dead. Oh. <laughs> is there a shard in here? I think there is. No, there's not. Yeah, there's not one in here. That was it. Pikmin 4 started doing that where they're like, let's <laughs> just have the enemy, but larger. Yeah, this and one's I a big current. Um, I think the last shard is here. So as long as you keep yourself safe, you should be. In oh the my god. Room. Again, for the fifth time. This looks really hard without the rock boomerang. Like, mm -hmm. Look at how easy it is to get hit. We gotta keep our eyes peeled though, because I think we only have, what, two out of three? Yeah. Nice. Perfect timing. Very cool. I'm just making you go up and down. There it is. Aha! Yeah, very easy to miss this one. If you're going a little bit too fast. Yeah. Pretty slow, but just because we had to make sure we, we collect everything. Right. We took our sweet time, but now, look, we don't have to replay it. Exactly. And, and now we're going to go beat letter. up the boss. One. One. Okay, let's go fight Acro. It <laughs> just starts self-destructing mm -hmm. next to him. Ooh, the camera moves. This one's pretty rough uh, without power-ups. I guess I have, it's probably one of the harder bosses in the game, actually. This guy seems pretty aggressive. But you're getting some good damage, for sure. I like, again, I say it every episode, I like the use of 3D. Alright, cool. <laughs> Alright, good job, Star. You'd be one of the harder bosses in the game. 
Uh oh. <laughs> I think you knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> It ain't it's over like, till it's uh -oh. over. <laughs> it starts like, <laughs> I need some powers, stat. That's hilarious. I feel like double stone will still be just as good. Because you could just burst. I don't know how it will be in it after the second half. <laughs> <laughs> It <laughs> just sunk. Right. That was great. I was like, I really like the 3D, and then Acro was like, ugh, ugh, ugh. It's so it's crazy. That's <laughs> so busted. But it's not over. Uh oh. Yeah, he's not done yet. Doing bosses already, huh? Mm -hmm. Picks. Technically, all the bosses so far have multi phase. If you consider Picks um, spawning a phase. Oh, that's fair. And Wispy at first, yeah. Because we have to kill his children. Oh gosh. Ooh, are we able to fall on him and then quickly burst out before we die? Well, who knows. Ah, that's right. You just gotta spit out. Ooh, this guy's tough! Yeah. Bow. Ooh. Yeah, this one's all gonna come down to hitboxes because he moves very Burn. tricky. Burn. <laughs> Burn. Burn. Run. Uh oh. Next hit wins. Hit. Next hit wins. Watch out, he might go up. Yeah, he's zooming. You got this. Unless he spawns on the left and kills you. There you go. I love how he just falls. <laughs> he is kind of cute. He is. Well, there you go. That's Aqua Star all down. Done and dusted. Amazing. <laughs> Hi! Yeah, his high sounds kind of low pitch. Also, and the steady. best cutscene in the game. Actually, maybe second best. I don't know. They're like, what the hell did you just do? They learn how to skip rocks. Watch this. Oh. He doesn't know. And he's dead. Everyone's no. like, anyways. Remember, kids, never skip stones. Yeah. In the next one, we're gonna start up World 4 Neo Star. Look at this place. This is a pretty good one. We'll see you then.